Scotty Reed here with a Black Talk Radio News Report. I want to focus on the story of the latest terrorist attack that just occurred in the UK last night. Um, this is following the bombing two weeks ago at a Ariana Grande concert where scores of people were injured and killed. And now we have, it seems to be two different terrorist attacks. Don't know if they were coordinated or not. In the UK, you had a van drive up on the London Bridge and start taking out pedestrians who were walking on the sidewalk. Then you had another man who was going to, I guess this might have been a business district, entertainment district, but he was stabbing people um, at a pole. Now, the bomber from two weeks ago, we know that he is a Libyan national he may have uk citizenship but his father his parents came from libya um after i guess trying to overthrow gaddafi and now their son has committed a heinous terrorist act against innocent people and now after this attack last night in the uk we got a lot of u.s politicians commenting on the attack. I know Donald Trump has been described to uh, have engaged in a Twitter storm about the attacks and what have you. But I have some comments here from a representative over the North Carolina District 10. He is the U.S. Congressman Patrick McHenry. He posted these comments this morning, prompting me to make this video. Um, as you can see there, hopefully he says that he is horrified to see another terrorist attack on innocent people, this time in London. Uh, Gulia, I guess that's his wife, and I extend our heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of those killed, and we continue to pray for those injured. We as Americans will stand with our friends in the UK against this evil. So, interesting choice of words there. Why are these Libyans in the UK? Did they invade the UK? No, they were invited into the UK because they were opposed to Muammar Gaddafi, who was the prime minister of Libya before he was assassinated by jihadists under the direction of NATO and the United States. Um, this was an operation that was overseen specifically by Hillary Clinton, who tried to take credit for it when she put out a video after hearing about Gaddafi's assassination by jihadists um, that she said, we came, we saw he died and start laughing like an evil witch or something. So I asked Mr. McHenry, and I doubt if he will reply, but I asked him. Didn't you support regime change in Libya? Did you not vote to give the Obama administration authorization to arm these militants, to give them air cover, and to take out Gaddafi? Did you not support that? So what we're talking about here is known as blowback. Look at Libya now. Now it has become a terrorist training ground for jihadists. And now, as Malcolm X once said, the chickens are coming home to roost. Am I glad or happy about these people being killed in the UK? Of course not. Of course not. But the truth needs to be told. And these people need to stop acting like they are not to blame and responsible for these attacks by way of their support of the terrorism um, used to overthrow the Lib Libyan government. In fact, the Libyan government under Muammar Gaddafi signed a treaty with the United States during the Bush administration, I believe it was in 2005, where they allied with the United States. George Bush was the president at the time, George W. Bush was the president, at the time, and they had an agreement to be partners in the war on terror. Matter of fact, it was actually Muammar Gaddafi who was the first head of state to issue an arrest warrant for Osama bin Laden for blowing up 
embassies inside of Africa, on the continent of Africa, okay? And so yet, then we had the, the come up to the Obama administration, and let's not just all put it on the Obama administration and Hillary Clinton again. They got authorization to do what they did from people in Congress like Patrick McHenry. So y'all chose to unleash this evil that y'all had been harboring um, in the UK against Libya. And now these people coming back after mission accomplished in Libya. Now those chickens are coming home to roost and now they're carrying out attacks against European nations. It's your fault. Take some responsibility for what you have done. And while he's issuing out these condolences, I have yet to hear anybody from the United States or the UK, any politician, representative, official, apologize to the people of Libya who were murdered by these jihadists that they supported. Um, in Hillary Clinton's delete emails, um, we had some emails from Sidney Blumenthal who was talking to Hillary Clinton about classified matters, and this man doesn't even have um, security or clearance. And, but yet he's emailing Hillary Clinton about what's going on inside of Libya as they were running their regime change operations. And he told Hillary Clinton that these militias, these Libyan rebel militias that they were using were engaged in ethnic cleansing um, and killing black people, whether they were, were Libyan nationals or whether they were African migrants who were in the country because Gaddafi was giving them jobs to keep them from flooding into Europe. So here is a picture of one of the mass graves inside of Libya. The United States did nothing to address these human rights crimes of a very egregious nature that were occurring in Libya uh, due to their actions due to them supporting these radical Islamist jihadists who obviously are racist as well. Plenty of videos of this terrorism directed against um, black people inside of Libya, whether they were Libyan nationals or whether they were African migrants. And nobody's apologized for that and has done nothing to hold the people accountable because then they will have to hold themselves accountable. And here is another uh, result of the NATO regime change in Libya. Now in Libya, the United Nations is reporting, and this report came out three weeks ago, I believe, that Africans are being sold into slavery inside of Libya by these radical Islamist Arab jihadists. And has anybody apologized for that? Where's the intervention by NATO? Where's the intervention by the United States? But let some white people, Europeans, get killed. Again, this is blowback. This is chickens coming home to roost. But let some white people get killed. And everybody uh, like Patrick McHenry, like Donald Trump, wants to express their condolences and their sorrow and what have you, but no such sentiments expressed for the victims of these Islamic jihadists inside of Libya that the United States and NATO supported. So I'm all about truth, truth does matter. And you're not seeing this sort of analysis or these truths being brought to you on the corporate state news apparatus. So, this has been Scotty Reed with a Black Talk Radio News Report. Support independent media. Make a donation today to the Black Talk Media Project. You can find us online at blacktalkmediaproject.org. For more independent thought, visit us online at blacktalkradionetwork.com.